that flow of funds often to officially sanctioned groups shows no sign of abating and may even be accelerating freezing or blocking them has proven difficult. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Mark Junior Jr. If you're new here, I do cyber-related videos. So we have the fight to cut off the crypto fueling Russia, Russia's Ukraine invasion. So we got to get right into it. We're going dark. So blockchain investigators have uncovered at least 4 million and counting in cryptocurrency donations to Russia's violent militia groups. This story is courtesy of Andy Greenberg at The Wired. As Russian troops have flooded into Ukraine's borders for the past eight months, and with an ongoing mobilization of hundreds of thousands more underway, the Western world has taken drastic measures to cut the economic ties that fuel Russia's invasion and occupation. But even as those global sanctions have carefully exercised Russia from global commerce, millions of dollars have continued to flow directly to Russian military and paramilitary groups in a form that's proven harder to control. Cryptocurrency. Since Russia launched its full-blown in invasion of Ukraine in February, at least 4 million worth of cryptocurrency has been collected by groups supporting Russia's military in Ukraine, researchers, ha researchers have found. According to analysis by cryptocurrency tracing firms like Chainalysis, Elliptic, and TRM Labs, as well as investigators at um, Binance, the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange, recipients include uh, paramilitary groups offering ammunition and equipment, military contractors, and weapons manufacturers. That flow of funds, often to officially sanctioned groups, shows no sign of abating and may even be accelerating. Chain, anal chain analysis trace roughly 1.8 million in funding to the Russian military groups in just the past two months, nearly matching the 2.2 million it found the groups received in the five months prior. And despite the ability to trace those funds, freezing or blocking them has proven difficult due largely to unregulated, unregulated, un, unregulated or uh, sanctioned cryptocurrency exchanges, most of them based in Russia, cashing out millions in donations earmarked for invaders. Our aim is to identify all the crypto wallets being used by Russian military groups and the people helping them to find, seize, and block all this activity that is helping to buy the bullets, the ammunition of this occupation. Uh, says a says the deputy of Ukraine cyber police and advisor to the country's prosecutor general. With though with the close cooperation of companies like uh, Chain Analysis and um, Binance, we can all see uh, the wallets involved in this criminal activity. These money flows of millions of dollars, but we can unfortunately see that the transfer is continuing all the time. In separate reports, the cryptocurrency tracing firms and Binance investigations team each track donations to the Russian war effort that very often began with public posts on the messaging app Telegram soliciting crowdfunded donation. Chainalysis, uh, for instance, found Telegram posts from organizations including the pro-Russian media sites Rybar and South Front, as well as the paramilitary group Rusich which has ties to notorious Wagner mercenary group, all posting cryptocurrency donation addresses to Telegram. These posts told followers that the money raised there would be useful for everything from weaponized drones to radios, rifle accessories, and body armor. In another instance, Chainalysis points to a fundraiser by a group called Project Terracon that attempted to auction NFTs to support pro-Russian militia groups in eastern Ukraine through the NFTs <laughs> through the NFTs were removed from the marketplace that they were hosted on before any bids were placed. Binance's investigation team in its own report found that a total of 4.2 million in crypto had been funneled to Russian military groups since February. The groups named in its research didn't entirely overlap with those named in Chainalysis report, suggesting that the overall funding could be far greater than either Binance's or Chainalysis total. Binance, for instance, points to a pro-Russian cultural heritage group known as MOO Vicha that has carried out fundraisers for military equipment similar to the kinds funded by the group's Chainalysis flag. While Binance, TRM Labs, and Elliptic are named MOO Vichus. 
as a major fundraiser, Elliptic traced $1.7 million in crypto donations to the group far more than any other researchers. Other organizations that Binance spotted raising money through cryptocurrency, crowdfunding on Telegram include the pro-Russian nationalist groups uh, Save Donbass and Rear, as well as the Russian arms manufacturer Lobiv, which it saw directly soliciting donations on the platform. Yet another group known as Romanov Light, whose fundraising was spot spotted by TRM Labs and Elliptic, claimed to be collecting crypto for Russian special forces. Romanov Light raised as much as 330,000 worth of donations according to Elliptic, which it told donors it spent on military equipment like weapon accessories, flashlights, and armored plates. Despite the re uh, relative clarity of all that financial tracing, preventing uh, cryptocurrency from continuing to bolster Russia's unprovoked incursion into Ukraine hasn't been simple. Exchanges have uh, exchanges can block or freeze funds at you know, the points where they exchanged for traditional cryptocurrency. But according to Channel Analysis, the majority of the crypto funds the groups have raised have been cashed out through what the company calls high-risk Russian exchanges with little to no precautions against criminal money laundering. In previous reports, Channel Analysis has named Chatex, Sux, and Garantix as examples of those Russia-based rogue exchanges, all of which have already been targeted with Western sanctions for their extensive use by criminals. Chatex and Garantix did not respond to Wired's request for comment. Sux no longer appears to have a public website and no contract information for the exchange could be found. Not every exchange that has served as an ATM for Russian military crypto crowdfunding is hosted on Russia, however. Blockchain Analysis, who spoke to Wired, pointed to seven other exchange services, some hosted in India and China, that have received funds from the pro-Russian groups they tracked. Although they declined to name them on the record, in part because of the amounts of, fun of those funds, in most cases were in the single-digit thousands or less. In one telling example of how hard it is to prevent these cash outs, however, analysts saw MOO send more than 150,000 worth of Bitcoin to an exchange hosted on the infrastructure of the Chinese cryptocurrency exchange of Huaboy, Hubai, which is a nested exchange that essentially uses Huaboy, Huabai as its trading platform. But any responsibility that Huaboy, Huabai might have for blocking for freezing those funds was complicated by another unknown intermediary service that analysis saw the money travel through before entering the Huaboy, Huabai hosted service. When Wired reached out to Huaboy, Huabai for comment, it wrote in a statement that it has a know your customer process which ensures to the best of our ability that um our clients source of funds are above board binance for its part says its exchange accounts were also used by four of the groups it tracked and received more than 208,000 worth of cryptocurrencies it tells wired that it froze all four accounts it discovers we are making sure that no harm comes to civilians as a result of the fundraising that happens in these extremist spaces, says Jennifer Hicks, who, manage, who manages Binance's intelligence and investigations firm. When cryptocurrency exchanges know that something illicit is happening, that will end in real world kinetic efforts like this. It's the exchange's responsibility to put a stop uh, to it as fast as possible. Even when exchanges do monitor for crypto sent from sanctioned groups like these pro-Russian fundraisers, that dirty money won't always be straightforward to detect, warns Tybut Madeline, who leads research in Eleptic. He says he increasingly seeing Russian sources of illicit funds use bridges or coin swaps services that allow easy trading of one cryptocurrency for another, often without offering any identifying information as money laundering techniques, he's watched those tools grow in popularity among dark web black, black markets and cyber criminal users and expects the same will happen with those seeking to launder illicit arms funding. It's a bit early to say definitively. 
But what we're seeing is that it's likely to become a bigger problem, says Madeline. They're likely to mirror the metho uh, metholo metho methodologies seen across Darknet services, users enabling large scale money laundering and potentially sanctions um, evasion. Millions of dollars in cryptocurrency funding to Russian troops may be the least of Ukraine's problem in the war, where Russia has thrown billions into its invasion force. Ukraine, it's worth noting, has also vastly outraised Russia in cryptocurrency by elliptic count. The Ukrainian government has collected more than 77 million in crypto donations since the war began, but that is to be expected giving the West a broad support of Ukraine following Russia's unprovoked aggression and the global sanctions placed on Russia. And even the smaller amount of cryptocurrency Russian forces have raised uh, demonstrates a cryptocurrency's ongoing potential to circumvent those sanctions and offer another financial lifeline to Russia's war machine. It's not like uh, Russia is buying new tanks with this money. They're paying for thermal uh, imaging scopes and UAVs, says Andrew Fearman, a sanctions-focused channelist researcher. But for those grassroots uh, facilitation of these militia efforts and, and any amount of money that they receive to bolster their gear is going to have an impact. And despite all the light that cryptocurrency traders can find on that funding and the West's best efforts to stop it, the crypto flow into Russia's chest continues. I appreciate your viewership. Please hit the notification bell. Please click the subscription. I thank you. Hack pack. Until next time. That's your story.